okay heel hold bridge okay so there's lots of different variations you could do to bridging a uh, heel hold bridge would be your first style of exercise to get yourself over uh, an insertional hamstring tendinopathy yeah so the way we thinking is if you bridge the closer your feet are to your glutes the more glute activation you'll get the longer your legs the more hamstring activation so we're going to start by trying to have more glute than hamstring but we do want to get the hamstrings involved because we're trying to get them to recover so by digging our heels in so we're sitting on our heels um, we're going to get some ha some hamstring activation but by keeping the heels close we'll get a lot of glute activation so then we will bridge as normal squeeze your glutes lift up hold for two lower down i always unclench re-clench my glutes and then go up hold for two pushing through the heels all the time and then down now you can progress this so let's say it's my right hamstring i'm rehabbing so if i'm doing three sets of ten of those and it's feeling okay the way i progress it is i'd squeeze lift so i'm rehabbing my right so i'd straighten my left leg and i'd hold for five on the left leg and then bring it back in and then lower down and repeat like so and that will target the right side a bit more and that and like i say that's stage one of rehabbing a hamstring with a heel hold bridge